Do you love outdoor camping trip? If yes, this video is meant for you. This camping stove may be the best for camping experience. Wait no more, let's find out together now. Unbox this Coleman stove model, Coleman Sportster 2 liquid grill fuel burner stove series 533. No idea why this stove model name is such calling Sportster 2. Maybe it's a version 2 or something like that. Why Coleman called it a dual fuel? Simply because allowed to use white gas uh, from Coleman brand and unlittered gasoline. Since Malaysia doesn't sell white gas, so basically we only will use unlittered fuel. So we will be using unlittered fuel later on uh, to test this stove out. This stove able to cook us breakfast, lunch and dinner in any weather hot or cold on a single burner like this. Fully adjustable common Sportster 2 liquid dual fuel stove. The cooking surface is compact enough to fit inside a backpack but large enough to prepare a trial meal with uh, options of using common liquid fuel or unlittered gasoline. The Sportster 2 stove is less expensive to fire up. I would consider this stove a friendly environment. The all-season stove is perfect for camping, hunting and even cases of emergency. By the way, this stove is not sponsored and purchased by my own money. What is inside the box? Let's unbox this and see what's inside. And I will share on the specifications. So basically, Coleman Sportster 2 Liquid Dual Fuel Burner Stove Series 533 and come with the instruction manual that looks like this. Of course, put the manual aside and also come with the filter funnel that looks like this. Put that aside, and of course, last but not least, the uh, common stove uh, uh, 533 model. And this is how it looks like. After unboxing the Coleman uh, Stove 533 models, I would like to share with you guys the features and the specifications. And first of all, uh, this stove actually boils a quart of water in 4 minutes time. I will definitely test it out, see whether it really boils uh, 4 minutes later on in this video. Secondly, dual fuel technologies. And the third one, stove burns uh, Coleman liquid fuel or unlittered gasoline fuel and of course the fuel sold separately and 1.1 pint of fuel capacity is and uh, it's actually a very powerful uh, common stove which is 10,500 BTU built-in port support and wind protection is, is over here and this is one of the specifications I really love uh, on this common stove and of course the filter funnel included which is this and perfect for camping great for emergencies preparations and of course the specifications of this uh, size and the weight of this uh, common stove 533 all right let's measure this common stove uh, model 533 let's measure from the height which is approximately around 15 centimeters and the diameter of this common stove which is approximately around 13.3 centimeters I would say this common stove are pretty compact with a definitely convenience and lightweight to travel for camping adventures moment. If you're new to this channel, my name is Snow and welcome to Snowmaker TV YouTube channel. This channel basically is all about outdoor activities such as camping adventures and also coffee content. If you haven't subscribed to Snowmaker TV uh, YouTube channel, please do click that subscribe button. You will definitely support me and support this channel to grow. If you like content like this, please click that like button and share this content to your friends and family. Alright, now how to light this up the uh, common fire stove uh, model 533 from step 1. 
here's the Iron 95 unlitered fill that I already filled in the fill in this bottle and pour some using the common funnel which is, looks like this given by the common in the box with the filtration inside which is white in color as you can see so now remove the cap the fuel cap of this uh, common stove and start filling as you can see it's fit inside the the, the found now filling up the unlitted fuel into the common uh, fire stove 533 model After filling up the fill into the found in the common stove 533 and make sure, step 2, make sure close the cap tight to prevent leakage. Alright, now we are at step 3. So basically pumping the air inside the found by pumping the pump plunger into the found which is this. As you all can see, the found are good in quality as being manufactured and tested by the common to withstand the pressure in it. So let's start pump the plumb puncher by turning around half circle and hold your thumb which is looks like this. There's a hole here at the pump plungers and start pumping by holding the fun. Pump around 10 to 15 pumps. Alright, after pumping around 10 to 15 pumps, remember to close the, plan, the pump plunger clockwise. Now we are at step 4. Turn the red knob here to middle and light up using the lighter pointing the nearest of the stove here, which is around this area. So basically the fuel will run through that they actually call it generator which is, looks like this starting the fire which is yellow in color once the generator is being heated up the fire will turn beautifully blue in color let's move on to step 5 let's light it up now Alright, wait approximately around 10 seconds. As you can see, the fires are pretty yellow in color. When you notice the fire from yellow turning blue slowly, then pump the pump plungers another 10 pump, and you will get a beautiful blue flame to cook for your breakfast, lunch and dinner. I'm not sure whether you guys are able to see the flames are slowly getting blue because currently now it's in the afternoon. The sky are pretty bright. So let's start pump another few more pumps. Alright, as you all can see the blue frame is entirely blue now. There's no longer the yellow fire. And of course uh, now we are actually outside and uh, in the afternoon. So of course we're not able to see the flame is actually blue in color. Common stove claim that this stove is able to boil a quart of water within 4 minutes. Let me try using this camping kettle and fill with water to the max. Alright, and let's count the time together. And of course, for this test, I will do it at night to share and also to show you guys how blue is the flame is. Alright, now approximately around 8 o'clock at night and it's totally beach uh, dark. Let me off the light and show you guys how dark it is. So this is how it looks like. So only back the lights. As uh, you all can see, the kettle, the water I actually already filled up almost to the max. Just to show you guys uh, how blue is the flame is from this common uh, dual fuel 533 model. And of course, I also prepared myself the timer. Uh, already set all 000. So let's test it out. Um, while boiling this uh, kettle of water, as uh, common claims uh, boil the water approximately around 4 minutes. So let's do the testing now and let's watch together. So I already start up the fire now and waiting the fire 
uh, turn to yellow frame to blue frame. So since it's getting more blue, let's pump another 10 to 15 pump. Alright, as you can see the red knob already put the, to the maximum. Let me off the light and show you guys how blue is the flame is. As you can see. So let's start the clock now. Alright, the clock already started. Alright, I would like to off the light again and show you guys uh, how blue is the flame is. And I will set the ISO to from 200 to 500. Alright, this is how it looks like. Now we already passed uh, one minute, as you can see the timer right here right now. As you can see, the red knob here is maximum. It's really hot. Yeah, it's start to boil now. It's boiling now. I'm not sure you guys are able to see the the, the heat is coming out from the kettle. Yep, it's boiling. Yes, it's boiling. And. Yes, uh, I will pause it and it's actually less than the 4 minutes, approximately around 3 minutes 50 seconds. Alright, let's test on the wind buffers uh, or protections from wind for maximum heat. As you can see, the knob here, I already turned it to the maximum, the fuel level, and I will blow it directly on the common stove 533 and see whether the fire will subside or not. Alright, so far very good. So let's turn the knob, the fuel level to medium. Alright. Alright, the fire actually subsides. The fire subsides, uh, one of the reasons simply because I blow directly on the common stove here. So basically, if the wind coming from left and right and front and back, so most likely the fire will stay intact on the common stove right tree tree. Alright, let's talk about the pros and cons of this uh, common model 533. The pros, right, definitely is the spend less and travel lightweight and also the compact of this stove. So with the half tank fuel being filled inside, right, it's actually weighed around 1 kg only as you can see now on the screen. This common stove definitely uh, environment friendly compared to gas stove who actually uses this type of gas canister. Imagine you guys going for 3 days to night cooking your breakfast, lunch and dinner and uses a lot of this type of gas canister and make sure you guys actually pack it and send it for recycle. If all the campus actually uses this and throw it away, it's definitely not going to be environment friendly. Another pros for this common stove definitely is the build up. The build up are so solid and so thick of the bound and the, and, the, and the design of this stove and being tested in the common factories and this stove is going to be long lasting. One thing I really love about this uh, common stove which is the wind ruffles which is this part how hard we, the wind actually blow the, but the fire is still intact on the stove as you can see uh, when I did the test on boiling the water at night for cons for this common stove right definitely you need to maintain the generator so this generator if you uses a lot of unlittered gasoline on this stove most likely you will clog 
the generators by the unlimited gasolines. Of course, there's so many steps and guidance from YouTube. Uh, basically, are pretty straightforward and easy steps to dismantle this generator. So for this part, are uh, not an issue. Is this common stove meant for you? If you're solo campers or family campers, definitely this stove is meant for you. The designs of this stove with a white diameter is definitely easy for you to cook your meal for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And for white uh, diameters, you can actually put a pot for frying and also morning soup for your meal. And of course, if you love, if you always go to overseas, like especially cold country with snow, this stove definitely can able to light up fire to cook your meal while the campsites are very cold with snow. If you prefer multiple fire stove, of course this is not meant for you because this design is meant for single burner and only one fire stove. So of course Coleman do have uh, another model which is come with a two fire stove and of course the weight and the design of the two fire stoves will be heavy and inconvenience especially if you are solo campers. I purchased this common model 533 stove uh, actually come without the hard casing that looks like this. Um, since I already have the uh, 508A model come with a hard case like this, most likely if I'm bringing 533 model, uh, I will be using this hard case for my camping moment. And of course if you guys actually if you guys have this uh, bag that looks like this uh, most likely I'll be using this too. I actually can insert this uh, common stove into this bag and there's more space so most likely I will be putting some other camping items into it and bring it along for my camping adventures moment. I hope this unboxing common 533 model video able to give you guys some ideas and information. Hope to see you guys again. Bye!